Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I'm going to be doing kind of a different video for my channel. I'm going to be talking about clothing and accessories. This is definitely not the first time I've talked about clothing on my channel. I've done other clothing hauls before. I did a couple of lookbooks that were book inspired, but I thought it would be fun to just start kind of every now and then slipping in fashion videos because I enjoy clothing and it's fun to talk about it. So today I'm going to be doing a haul of some of the clothing and accessories that I have purchased this summer. There are a few different items from a few different stores. I will make sure to list everything I talk about down in the description below, so let's just jump in and get started. So the first few items of clothing I'm going to talk about are all from Forever 21, which is where I do most of my clothing shopping. And the first item is this little tank top. So I wear a lot of muscle tanks, just in general, I love them. I have a lot of bralettes and therefore I wear a lot of tank tops like this. But I like this one also because it comes with this little pre-tied portion at the bottom that I'm a huge fan of. Plus, I like the banded top. Honestly, this is one of those shirts that I saw at Forever 21 and it was probably only a couple of dollars and I just instantly fell in love with it. I have worn it all summer. It hits in exactly the right spot at the top of my pants and it's just like super comfortable, so huge, huge fan of this. I always love Forever 21's like muscle tank tops. I think that they're all fantastic. The next tank top I'm going to talk about, I have definitely mentioned in videos before, but that's because I love it so very much. And that is just this little teeny tiny one. It's kind of a like purpley color with these nice little flowers on the front. This one I definitely got off of the clearance rack at Forever 21. It was $2, I think, which is my favorite price to pay for tank tops. This one's a little shorter than I usually go for tank tops, but it hits right at the very, very top of high-waisted pants. Like it just brushes right along that pant line. And so it's been really, really perfect for summer because every now and then you move and just that little hint of tummy sticks out and I'm a huge fan of that look. Plus I love this color. I'm a big fan of like dark purples and maroons against my skin tone. So everything about this was just perfect. And getting it so cheap was an extra special bonus. And the last Forever 21 thing that I want to mention, I have definitely talked about in a very recent video and that is this romper. First of all, when I saw it, I was initially disappointed because I thought it was a dress. I don't really do dresses, but then, no, they are shorts. It is a romper, and I love how colorful and springy it is. Plus, I really like the way white looks against my skin tone, considering how pale I am. White tends to look good. <laughs> Besides the fact that it's a romper and it has this really great top with the buttons, it also actually has a cutout back. I don't wear a ton of clothing with cutout backs, but I absolutely love the way it looks on this romper. Yeah, this is everything, and I plan to wear it as many times as possible in the future. Although it did already have a minor issue with the zipper that I'm not a huge fan of, like it's coming apart at the top. Luckily, my mom's a seamstress, so she's gonna fix it for me, but I was a little frustrated by the fact that I had worn it one time and already the, the zipper was coming out at the top. That was kind of annoying, but it's beautiful, so I've gotten over it. I did just very recently get a thrifted item, and that is the shirt I am currently wearing, this chambray top that I absolutely love. My sister has a chambray shirt, and whenever I'm home, I have a tendency to borrow it from her because I love it, but I've wanted my own, and I found this at a thrift store, and I'm so happy that I did. It's really oversized, which doesn't bother me. I like oversized clothing, but I just have everything kind of rolled up and tucked as I like it, as I want it styled. It is super soft and comfortable, and it was just such a great purchase as we're slowly moving into fall. I have been kind of purchasing more fall clothes recently. If you are interested in seeing some of the fall purchases I've been making, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know, and I will do future clothing hauls. But overall, I love this shirt. I love it tucked in. I also like wearing it over other shirts. I just, I really wanted a chambray top, and I'm very glad that I finally found one. And this was like $5 when I found it thrifted, so A+. Plus. The last two items of clothing I'm going to be talking about are both from H&M, the first of which is yet another tank top. This is kind of an eyelet tank top. Again, white on my skin. I just love the way it looks. I didn't used to wear as much white because I'm a messy person and so I'm always panicked that I'm gonna ruin everything, but I've gotten a lot better about not being super messy, so I finally decided I'm allowed to buy more white clothing. I love the eyelets on this shirt, how they slowly kind of get upwards towards the top, and my other favorite thing is the back of this shirt, the detailing of it. I have not found the right bralette to wear with this shirt yet. Because it's so see-through, I need to get something that's white or skin toned so that I can kind of show off the back of it through this open back. And I haven't found that yet. Still on the market, 
So this isn't quite a complete look, but I'm sure once I find something, I will love this shirt even more than I already do. And to go along with that shirt, I actually specifically bought this pair of shorts. So these are stretchy jeans, but they're green, and I am... I'm such a fan of these. This is the exact same cut of another pair of jeans that I have from H&M that's just like a regular light wash denim. I used to love wearing colorful pairs of pants and colorful pairs of shorts, so when I saw these I was really excited since I knew how well those other shorts fit me and this was the same cut. This is a little bit more durable than the jean, it's a little bit thicker but still stretchy, so it fits over anything that you need to fit it over. And yeah, I just really love the look of the green against the white shirt, and I've been wearing this with other stuff, of course but that is what I purchased it for was to go with that eyelet tank so really really pleased with these as well that is it for the clothing now let's move on to some of the accessories I've purchased and the first accessory that I have to mention is the glasses yes I will talk about the fact that I have new glasses now I had my last pair of glasses for a very long time longer than I usually let myself have a pair and I finally, finally updated. These frames are from an online store called Firmu, and they actually sent along these frames for free to me. But like, it's not like I'm gonna punk you guys and only wear these in one video. These are my glasses now. <laughs> I have really wanted in the past to try shopping for glasses online just because I get so frustrated with the prices of buying frames from my eye doctor. I feel like they are way too expensive, and this year I really wanted to do something less expensive. All of their glasses are super cheap. Despite the fact that I was sent these frames for free, I'm definitely going to go back to Firmu when I need to buy some sunglasses. I've never been able to afford prescription sunglasses before, and this is definitely the place where I'm going to shop for them. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of these overall. I feel like the frames get bigger every time I get new glasses. I have definitely been sizing up since I first got glasses back in high school. These are bigger than my last ones, but I love them and it's okay. If you would like to try out Firmu, they actually have extended an offer to me, which I can now extend to you. It's a buy one get one free offer and that is in the description below if you want to check it out. These are really cheap glasses, so to buy one and then also get another pair free is awesome. New glasses! Huge fan! It's the daily accessory, so the ultimate accessory really. Another new accessory I got is I finally up upgraded my purse and it was a long time coming. I am very specific about my purses. I have only really ever had the same kind of purse that I just kind of purchase over and over again when that one falls apart. I don't like change when it comes to my bags because I find something that works and then I never want anything else. But I'm really glad that I updated and got a totally different purse. Not totally different, all of my bags are always this color, but other than that. So this is from Old Navy. It was about $30 and I'm just, I'm a really big fan of it. It has this kind of, it's uh, latched on by a magnet. It's just got the one top. What is in here? Donuts. I had donuts in here. That's just the kind of thing that I put my bags through apparently. Um, it's also big enough that I can occasionally fit a book in here, which is nice. I always like my bag to be able to fit whatever book I'm currently reading. Definitely fits my Kindle. It's got a nice little extra uh, space back here where I put my keys and stuff. Just, I'm very glad that I finally made the jump and I bought a big girl purse, <laughs> even though I was resisting really hardcore. Thanks to everyone who was pushing me to get a, a real purse. I did it and I'm glad I did. The last couple of things I'm going to talk about are both pairs of shoes and first of all, I have a very silly pair of shoes, but I'm gonna talk about them. It's these. I cannot even tell you where these came from, what they are, where you can buy them, uh, because they were a gift from my dad, and sometimes he just gives my sister and I silly gifts, and this was one of those gifts. So these are tennis shoes with Godzilla on the side. There's one side, Godzilla, then the inside, also Godzilla. These are kind of absurd and ridiculous, but also fit my style just enough that I'm a fan of them. So yeah, these have like no distinguishing mark that I can look at and tell you where they came from, but they were a gift from my dad, a very silly gift, and I'm a huge fan of them because he knows that we connect through having kind of silly tennis shoes. He's given me other pairs of multicolored, like, Converse and stuff, so. This just fits with the theme, and they're silly, but I love them. And the final thing I'm going to talk about in this video is this pair of shoes from Forever Young. These are high-heeled sandals that I fell in love with. I've definitely talked about them before, but I don't care. I love the fronts of them. I love that they buckle on the side. They're really pretty when they're buckled and they just go right up my ankle and they are the perfect height. I used to wear high heels 
every single day when I was in high school, which is kind of bizarre to think about because that is so not me anymore. But I did want to own at least one pair of heels that I could kind of slip on when I needed to be a little bit fancier, and I think that these were the perfect pick. Plus they're comfortable, they don't hurt after I wear them for a long time, which is good because my feet are no longer used to wearing heels all the time, so huge fan of these, and I got them on clearance at Forever Young. I'm cheap. You may have picked that up from this video. I'm very cheap when it comes to clothes, so anything on clearance, anything on sale, anything I can get thrifted, good stuff. And these were perfect. Okay guys, there you go. Those are the clothing and accessories that I have purchased in the past couple of months. What do you think of my purchases? Do you have a favorite thing that I've picked up? Please let me know in the comments below. And like I said, be sure to let me know if you are interested in a fall haul of sorts. I'm definitely going to be buying more clothes. I'm gonna go buy some more today. So yeah, look forward to that. If that's the thing you want, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.